John Corrales, Boston Sports Journal. Jalen, when you're out there looking for specific matchups offensively, where's what's the timing like for you with the ball and you're looking for the matchup versus I can't get to this matchup, I have to move the ball, like of trying to avoid stagnation. Is there like an internal clock? Is there something that you have to realize like, okay, we can't get to this matchup, I gotta move the ball to see if we can get to a different matchup? Yeah, I, I, it just depends on, uh, you know, how fast we get the ball up the floor. You know, if, if we are walking the ball up the floor and we starting our offense at 17 or, or whatever, it's different from you starting your offense at 20 because you got the ball up the floor. So um, I think that goes into it. If you got a little bit more time, maybe you could scan the floor a little bit. But for the most part, you want to kind of make quick decisions and, and keep the ball moving. How are you? Uh, Stephen Bonney from the New York Post. Um, Jason Kidd just said that, uh, said it twice that you're the best player on the Celtics. I was just trying to get your reaction to that. I don't have no reaction. Uh, I don't know. You know, I think uh, it's a team game, and we're trying to focus on that. And you know, everybody has their own opinions. Fourth row on the right. Yeah. Hi, Jalen. Um, how is your mindset coming into game two, especially after your explosive game in game one? Say that one more time. I said, what is your mindset coming into game two and finishing the, like the game early, um, specifically after game one? Yeah, uh, coming out even more aggressive, but even more disciplined. You know, Dallas is a really good team, and they've responded very well to, you know, game one losses. They come back in game two. Um, so we're going to get a, um, a forceful, more aggressive, team to, on Sunday, tomorrow, uh, we got to be ready um, because they're, they're really good all after a loss. So we can't be surprised, and, and that's what I'm preparing my team for. Mark in the third row. Jalen, Mark D'Amico, Celtics.com, right ahead of you. Um, when you went back and looked at the tape, what do you think you guys really did well defensively to kind of take them away from what they like to get to? Um, just try to keep them off balance. Um, they got, they're here for a reason. Um, they're, they're well coached. They do their roles. They perform their roles well. Um, so um, can't give them the same look every time because they are, you know, the more comfortable they get, the better they are. So just try to keep them all balanced. Mark, can you pass it back to Gary behind you? Jalen, Gary, watch the Boston Globe. In 16, you visited the finals. You went to Oracle. You know, it was like a couple of weeks before you got drafted. You had a high top fade and all that. What, what did you take from that experience, just like being in that NBA environment a few weeks and you didn't know where you were going to be, whether it was being Boston or not? What, was, what do you remember about that? Uh, I remember it being a, a pretty cool experience. You know, I, I, was, I see some uh, young guys in our league now, like, like walking around and and stuff like that. Um, and I think that's pretty cool. When I was, it was before I got drafted, like you said, and I was still, you know, fresh out of college. And, you know, I knew some, uh, cause I played at, at Cal Berkeley. I knew some of the guys on the Warriors. Um, Steve Kerr's son was my, my teammate, Nick Kerr at Cal. So, you know, I went to a lot of Warriors games um, that season. And, you know, I got to, to meet a lot of those guys you know, and talked to a lot of those guys before I even got to the NBA, mainly Andre Iguodala, who is like a older brother mentor to me now. Um, but, you know, that those experiences were everything, you know, being able to see what a winning environment looked like, being able to talk to guys who have done things at the highest of levels and then give you encouraging words and wish you well and good luck. That was that was my experience. Um, NBA Finals when what 2015 or whenever that was um, before I got drafted, and I think you know it's a part of the reason why I was able to get back. Fourth row in the center, Jalen yeah, Jimmy Golden from the Associated Press. One way to interpret Jason Kidd's comments would that be that he's trying to kind of 
get some rivalry going between you and Jason that might hurt the team. Why do you think there's this perception that uh, you guys aren't happy to be teammates and share the ball and all that? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not, I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure, um, but uh, we've been just extremely focused on what we're, our roles and our jobs are. Um, we've all had to sacrifice. Um, Jason has had to do that at the highest of levels, right? And, you know, and, the, and I respect him and tip his cap for it. But at right now, at this point, it's whatever it takes um, to win, and we can't let any outside interpretations try to get in between that. Nick, over here in the second row. Hey there, Jalen. Nick Galley, Field Level Media. Uh, I know on Thursday night, Kyrie said he thought it would be a little louder in here. This crowd, you've challenged it before, ahead of game seven last year against Philly. Said you need everyone to be loud. They responded. What did you guys think about the crowd on Thursday night here, and what do you think you're going to see here on Sunday? I thought the crowd was good. I think we can be a little bit better. So um, I expect us to be even louder. Sunday, we're going to need um, our fans to be hype. You know, it's, it's not just team versus team. It's crowd versus crowd. It's gas station versus gas station, supermarket versus supermarket. We need, it's the whole city versus the whole city. So um, we, need, we need everybody. Last question, David. Jalen, David Aldridge with The Athletic. Um, your team's spacing offensively has really been great the last couple of years. And I just wonder what that process has been like in terms of figuring out the best ways to absorb space and to be in the right spot to start the next action and to get the shot that you, you to get the best shot that you can get on each possession. Yeah, just watching film, taking your time, seeing and reading the game, um, being aggressive, not hesitating, um, but but also you know um, making the right plays, like you said, being in the right in the right spot. Spacing has a lot to do with that. Uh, making sure our team is properly spaced, and then being aggressive from there. Um, we expect them to be a lot more aggressive on defense. Um, Dallas coming out into this game too, so um, that's going to it's going to put a, a emphasis on us to be more disciplined. Um, we got to get to our spacing well. Um, we got to make the right the right reads. Got to take care of the ball. Um, can't do stupid fouls because um, uh, we expect we expect a great punch from them. Thank you, Jalen. Jason will be.